My name is Orion Black Brown and I'm a mechanical engineer with Green Mountain Technologies. And I'm going to try to answer one of the questions that we get a lot here, which is how to use one of these Demista oxygen probes. So I'm going to take you through kind of the basics of using them and show you some techniques that we've created in house to prevent them from clogging. So the first thing to note with these oxygen probes is that the ambient oxygen conditions should be 21%. So when you push this button down, it starts taking oxygen readings. And I know that this should be reading 21% because this probe is in the air. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a few pumps, pull some of this ambient air into it. And you see it's reading 24%, which shows that it needs to be calibrated. So the way you do that is you twist this little screw here the opposite direction that I was just twisting it, counterclockwise, until you come down to 21%, just like that. And now you're ready to move on to the next step, which is getting an oxygen reading in the compost pile. One of the big problems that we have with our oxygen probe and everyone has with oxygen probes in compost applications is clogging of the tip. So these probes have little holes, the tip that pull oxygen through. And as you do that, dirt gets in there and it clogs up. So we've developed a pretty simple process to help our customers avoid that. We use this probe insert and we put it into the pile all the way until it's flush with the surface of the pile. And then you insert your oxygen probe into the insert. And you'll feel right here I'm getting a little pushback because I'm at the end of the probe insert. Just push it down maybe an inch or two past that point and then start taking your oxygen reading. So our oxygen reading has finally stabilized and as you can see our pile does not have nearly enough oxygen. We're at 1% here. So we got to turn this pile soon. So another thing that happens pretty often with these probes is they're pulling air in through these little holes at the tip and these holes will get clogged. So if you're finding that it's pretty hard to pump, the tip of your probe is probably clogged. Fortunately, Demista designed around this and there's an easy way to unclog them. What you do is you bring your little handy dandy flathead screwdriver with you and you remove this screw right down here. Make sure you don't lose it. And then once you've removed that, put that somewhere where you're not gonna lose it, like your back pocket, and then you pull this out. Once you've cleaned it out, put the screw back in. Once you've got the tip back on, then you can recalibrate the probe. As you can see, I'm at 21% after I've pumped it a few times. So we're good to take another oxygen reading. Well, I hope that you guys found that video helpful and thank you guys for tuning in. Happy composting.